Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Rob. You know, as Christmas comes near, it's gonna feel a little bit different, maybe a lot different, really. It's the appropriate way of saying it, from years past. But it's still gonna be very special. And there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. And some of the most important work is preparing our hearts ahead of time. So I wanna say thanks for coming and joining us for these Advent devotionals. As we prepare our hearts for Christmas, and we're doing it by talking about different songs. And the song we're going to talk about today is called Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And you know what? As soon as you hear that title, you know there's something special about this song. Because it comes from a different era, a different time. It's almost like speaking a different language. Because there are words in this that we don't use anymore. Words like hark and herald. Well, hark just simply means... Listen up! And herald is a description of a messenger. So basically, even in the beginning of this song, the very title, right from, from the get-go, really it's saying, hey, listen up! This person has something important to say. Well, those messengers are angels. And angels helped people prepare for Christmas by bringing a message ahead of time. Sometimes they would do that for groups and sometimes they would do it for individuals. Well, today we're going to look at a time that angels shared a message with a very specific individual. We find it in the book of Matthew with the Christmas story, Matthew chapter one, beginning verse number 18, tells us this. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Can you imagine being Joseph at that point? That announcement had to be a lot for Joseph to take in. He was basically being told, your fiance is pregnant with God's child. And then, listen up, here's the most important part of the announcement. His name will be called Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. That is the greatest news of all. And that is what we celebrate this Christmas, that Jesus came. And as the song, Hark the Herald Angels, puts it, that God and sinners are reconciled. That means he has come to save us from our sins. So we can have a thrill of hope today, knowing that Jesus came to save us. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>